Hey class, um, today we are going to be learning about total turn. And the first things to know is that mathematicians measure turns in degrees. So a whole turn is 360 degrees. There are 360 degrees in a circle. Since one whole turn is a full circle, it's 360 degrees. Now, two whole turns would be 720 degrees because 360 plus 360 equals 720. So whole turns can be in two directions. They can either go clockwise or counterclockwise. So these two are going to be very important to remember which one's the negative and which one's the positive. I have highlighted my Clockwise is the direction of the of going of the movement going forward of the hands of the clock. And so that means when it goes the clock the right way, the way we are all used to, that will be a negative degree. When it goes the opposite way, it would be counterclockwise and that would be a positive degree. So those two are very important to remember when we are finding the points on the shapes that we are going to measure in degrees. So here's some, just a few examples of a whole turn. Um, it would be a ballerina doing a pirouette, the skateboarder turning a skateboard all the way around, or the second hand on an analog clock going around a full minute. So those are just examples. So you can have a picture in your mind. Okay, so now it's our turn to try. So this is what um, people know as the infinity symbol. And let's see what we can do with it. So first, what I did is label the way my shape is going. As you can see, the blue arrow, it is telling me which way the shape is going and just follow it. So it makes this shape. Now the next step is to find our points. So we have a point right here. We have one here and we have another one here. So let's focus on this one first. So we know that we have to follow the arrows. So if I start following the arrows around this circled point, it is going clockwise. So my degree measurement is going to be negative 360. Now, let's do the other side. If I start here, my arrow is pointing this way. To, so then I would start following my arrow. And it's taking me counterclockwise. It's going the opposite. So that would give me a positive 360 degrees. So when we have a negative 60, we add a 360, it gives us a total of zero degrees. So this infinity shape, it is measured um, in degrees, it's zero degrees. Let's try another one. This one's more looking like a cloud. Um, the first thing we do is label our points. So if I begin here, I start following my arrows which indicate which way the shape is going. And I just follow the arrow all the way through. So it's telling me, okay, this loop is going around this way. And here is my starting point. So I've labeled my, my points. Now let's see, we have one point here. So if I look at my arrow here and I follow it around, it's going clockwise. So remember that clockwise is negative. So right now I have a negative 360. If we find our second point, we find our arrow, we're going around and around. We're going clockwise again. So therefore we have a second negative 360. Our third point, it's right here. 
So if I don't have an arrow and it would, it, if it's confusing, you can find a different spot to start that's farther back to start following so it can get you into the right direction. So here I am following my arrow and it's turning clockwise. So it gives us another negative 360. But we are not done here yet. We found our three points, but we still have measurements or space in between. So let's figure that out. All this space here will be counted for as well. And we have to figure out which way it's going. It's either going counterclockwise or clockwise. So if we focus on the outer part and we start with an arrow, we follow that arrow and it takes us around once again, clockwise. So we've added a fourth negative 360. So once we add all these negative 360, it gives us a negative 1,440 degrees as our measurement for this shape. Well, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. On the next two slides, I do have a worksheet along with the key for your teacher to be able to have you guys practice some of these shapes.